refrigerators and heat pump like um, we have mentioned in a corner cycle like if we want to extract heat from the high temperature reservoir and reject into a low temperature reservoir we would be having a worked output so the question would arise what if we use this corner cycle in a reverse or what if if we supply heat sorry if we supply work done to the system to the heat engine will it extract heat from the high temperature reservoir sorry will it extract heat from the low temperature reservoir ql and reject into a high temperature reservoir and which is actually qh in other words what what we are saying like if you want to supply heat to the system would it be able to extract heat QL from the low temperature reservoir and reject heat QH to a high temperature reservoir? This is what we call it as a reversing the corner cycle. From the high temperature reservoir and low temperature reservoir, these words, these words can be used relatively, what, what we can say like. That means like the high temperature, the low temperature reservoir would be somewhere inside the room and the high temperature reservoir can be somewhere outside the room. So the we will be extracting heat from the room and we would be rejecting heat to uh, the high temperature reservoir, which is somewhere outside. And we, what we are saying, like what we would pay for would be actually the work done and what would be the what we will get would be the amount of heat that would be extracted from the uh, from the room so what we are trying to say like we would be reversing this corner cycle and then we would be extracting heat from the low temperature reservoir and rejecting heat to a high temperature reservoir uh, we do not call the performance or the efficiency of the refrigerator as the efficiency itself we call it as a coefficient of performance what is actually a coefficient of performance itself coefficient of performance is the heat rejection by the work supplied and using this equation you can say like the coefficient of performance would be equal to t t i which is a t1 which is a t t l divided by t h minus t l somewhere here so this is what we call it as a coefficient of performance as we can say like the the efficiency cannot be 100 percent or cannot be one the coefficient of performance is always greater than one so let's let's consider a domestic refrigerator to under, understand this concept so the domestic refrigerator they have bought the four components normally one component is the major component we can say like one is the compressor one is the evaporator coil which is inside the refrigerator and if you can open your refrigerator or open your freezer is the that cooling coil which is actually inside the refrigerator the other component is the expansion wall we will explain the expansion wall and the the fourth component is the condenser coil if you can put if you can see like the which is the black uh, coils which is outside the refrigerator and if you put your hand on that one it's a little bit heated coil so we have got uh, four components of the uh, refrigerator compressor condenser evaporation coil and the expansion coil uh, i did explain like uh, we would be trying to reverse the corner cycle or we would try to move the corner cycle in a reverse order so let's let's start from the same thing and that let's start from the same point which is actually at point a and that point it is somewhere over here which is actually at the inlet of the or the egg uh, or the start of the expansion coil so expansion would mean like we are going from the a to rather than a to b actually we are going from a to d over here so that mean like expanding in a opposite direction or a reverse direction so that mean when we are going from a to b that is actually if you can imagine from the corner cycle this was our adiabatic lag and that that, that was a reversible adiabatic process so for, if you are expanding expanding mean like if change in internal energy equal to heat supplied minus work done that was something like this 
and if we are expanding that uh, uh, adiabatic expansion is there so adiabatic expansion mean like mean like there would be actually positive work done and that there would be some some negative change in internal energy so ex expansion mean like the temperature which is actually a high temperature would decrease fr from th towards the t l naught so at the end of expansion wall or expansion we would be having a temperature which would be actually te temperature t l over here now if it is temperature tl so we are in a position to put this TL inside the refrigerator which is somewhere our food is there into the expansion evaporator coil actually so what would happen like when we have got a low temperature and we have got a hot food inside our refrigerator so what this expansion coil will actually do it will absorb heat it would be absorbed and that would be heat would be absorbed from the low temperature reservoir and that low temperature reservoir heat will absorb and there will be still an expansion and that expansion would be from d to c but make sure that expansion if you remember from the corner cycle that expansion from d to c is isothermal expansion so what we are saying like when we were absorbing heat from d to c the temperature of the reservoir was remain constant we were only and only absorbing heat from inside the refrigerator now we are at the point c which is somewhere here so so from a to b we are having an expansion from c to from b to c sorry that was d somewhere i'm sorry from a to d we are having an expansion from d to c we are having an expansion but that expansion is isothermal expansion and we are extracting heat and that extracting heat from the low temperature reservoir which is actually t l now now we are at the point c now we have lost our most of the energy now so in order to reverse the cycle we must supply the energy to it and if you remember like we we have explained like pressure is actually our energy or pressure is the energy which actually would be utilized in many things now so what we actually would do we would actually increase the pressure from c to b or in other word actually what we would do like we will compress our liquid or working liquid from b to c so it is actually from c, c sorry c to b so there will be actually a adiabatic expansion remember from the corner cycle there will be an adiabatic compression from c to b when we are saying like adiabatic compression from c to d we are talking about the negative work and when we are talking about the internal energy which would be increasing so if we have got temperature tl over here so we would be ha having a temperature th over here now and this one is also tl over here so from c to b we are having adiabatic compression and compression in the compressor so we are raising the temperature from tl to th now as we have taken the heat from inside the refrigerator so we must throw the heat outside the, in the air or outside in a room now so what would we we would do actually we would try to we try to reject the heat to the atmosphere and that rejection is from b to a so that mean like heat would be rejected or heat would be rejected to a high temperature reservoir make sure i did explain like this high temperature and low temperature is a relative terms so we would be rejecting heat into a high temperature reservoir or in a room if you can imagine so when we are rejecting heat from towards the high temperature reservoir the temperature remain constant the temperature remain constant while the, there is a compression from b to a so this is the whole process and that process is what we call it as a refrigeration process if i'm explaining it again if you can imagine from a to d there is an expansion and that expansion is adiabatic expansion you might know like from the joule thomson effect actually when we are expanding sudden expansion there is a cooling effect so definitely from 
A to D, this is the same joule thomson effect and that, that joule thomson effect would be actually decreasing the temperature and that obviously the volume would be increasing. So this is what we call it as a reverse corner cycle. Reverse corner cycle, we have got the same processes, but that same process is actually moving in a reverse direction. Now the question would be, if I can imagine, we have already explained that this is our domestic refrigeration. This is our process which is, is taking place in a domestic refrigeration. So let me explain one of the concepts which actually you might be confused and that is actually when, when we are supplying heat to the system or when we are absorbing heat from the low temperature reservoir, the temperature remain constant. And when we are rejecting to the air, the temperature remain constant. So what explaining this phenomena, imagine when we are absorbing heat from the low temperature reservoir from D to C, actually, there is a working fluid inside the refrigerator which would be absorbing heat from this food. So from absorbing heat from D to C, it will only change the phase of the working fluid. So when we are changing the phase, that means like we are absorbing heat, but the temperature remain constant. Same would effect would be when we are rejecting heat. So the rejecting heat mean like and constant temperature rejection mean like we are only and only changing the phase rather than actually the, the changing the temperature. So imagine it is called as evaporating coil. So that mean like from D to C, when we are absorbing heat, it, there would be a liquid and that liquid would be evaporating into gas when we are absorbing heat. And the other coil is known as condensation coil. So that means like there would be a gas and when it is actually rejecting heat, the gas would be converting into liquid. So, and that, like, and that process is isothermal process. So keep it clear, like from D to C, there is an absorption of the heat and in that absorption the liquid is converted to gas while keeping the temperature constant and from 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 b to a actually there is a there is a heat rejection and that heat rejection is happening in a condenser so that is actually condensing mean like we are going from the gaseous state into a liquid state i hope you understand that that lecture if you have got any question we please make sure like you just put it on on the the uh, classroom thank you very much have a nice time